morning, IHSA football family. It is time now for the DuPage Valley Conference Preview 2022. Here we go. Just a quick couple few things. Make sure you follow Coach Big Pete and Deep Dish Football on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram, Snapchat. I'm also on TikTok. My email is coachbigpetefp at gmail.com. That is coachbigpetefp at gmail.com. Again, uh, visit deepdishfootball.com. Also, do page run and shoot. Talking do page valley, do be, also do page valley football, but do page county football with my co-host Patrick Cotto of NC17 TV, Naperville Community Access Television. Um, he does a wonderful job, and he's a great co-host. Do page run and shoot show. Make sure you follow that on Twitter and Facebook. Let's get started, shall we, for the do page valley preview again. Previews mean absolutely crap. You must play the game. That's the reason why we have games. Again, um, what is up can be down. What is up from last year can be down next year. And what is down next last this year could be up next year. We live in a parody of IHSA football, and it is great. And anything can happen. Even the, the smallest, the weakest team can become strong and get five or six wins again to the IHSA playoffs. So it's going to be interesting. But I'm really... Excited for the Stu Page Valley Conference because I, um, I really do believe a little bit of it's going to be like the Duquesne Conference from last year where it was a little bit wild. I think we're going to have a wild conference. I think the teams that I have in my predictions are going to do so, uh, are going to be, be good. But I also think some of the teams that I think that are going to be weak, I think they're going to actually prove themselves uh, that they are good com uh, competitors this season. Um, and I do believe that we have one team that could challenge for a state title. And that is a good team. So let's get started, shall we? Um, as you know, um, they had the DuPage Valley Conference title game last year, uh, fall. Um, and it was a, that was a wild ride last year. And I was right about the competitors. I was wrong about the surprises. But I'm going to stick to my guns this year. I'm sticking with my same surprises. So let's get started. Um, Naperville Central. Uh, last year, a lot of people were still sleeping on because they thought, well, Sam Jackson's gone. Uh, some of the bigger players are gone. They're not going to do as well. They were good that last season, and I don't know why people were <laughs> counting them out. But um, let's go. They uh, 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 Sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah. So, sorry about that. Uh, I apologize for the wait. Okay. So, with that being said, we got some big dogs for Naperville Central, Maverick Oral Ole, defensive end, a junior. The kid's an absolute star. Um, he's going to have some big all-time offers coming up, but Maverick Ole is definitely a kid that you need to know. Tyler Dodd, athlete out of Naperville Central. He's going to be one of those mixed athletes. Again, he can be used in the backfield. He can be used as a wide receiver. Kid that you need to know, Ryan Sperkerman. DB, definitely another name that you need to know as well. I really like his style, and I like the way he boxes out. Uh, receivers. Um, again, young team. Um, can they do some damage this year? Yeah, I have them as a little bit as a challenger this year. Matt Musial, offensive lineman, is another name that you must know about. He's going to be a big-time offensive lineman from the state of Illinois. Do not sleep on him. Um, I see, again, uh, there's a good senior class, still a little bit unproven, but again, I still am not sleeping on this team. I think they're going to be a challenger this year. I don't know why a lot of people are saying that uh, the Naperville Central is going to have a really down year this year. I don't think they will be. I think they can play, and I think they can they can compete this season. Um, the big thing is going to be uh, the offense, and that's going to be huge. Uh, they use uh, uh, they lose uh, uh, Prucha, their uh, their former quarterback. Um, he's going to be uh, that's going to be a key loss, but we'll see what the youth comes up with. Uh, you got McCormick at quarterback, or you could have I forgot the other quarterback that they got too. But it could be interesting. Duncan Foley is another player, player to keep an eye out for Naperville Central. But Naperville Central looks good so far. Um, we go to their schedule. Uh, nope. <laughs> Got that wrong. All right. Uh, yeah. Um, so we're going to go to Naperville North. Sorry about that. Uh, for Naperville North, I have Naperville North as my big dog team. I have them um, challenging, for, uh, challenging for a state title. I, think this, I believe in this team. I think this team is going to be unbelievably special. Um, Coach Strendel has a boatload of talent for this Naperville North team. This team could be the Wee North of this year. Uh, and we know, as you know, won the state title Wee North. 
I think Napier Millville North can do this. It's going to be a hell of a season for these Huskies. Again, if they, barring, barring any injuries, um, any overshadowing, any of uh, the parity in Illinois High School football, I think Napier Millville North is the real deal. Luke Williams, star recruit. Aiden Gray, best quarterback in the state of Illinois from Northwestern. David Alano, one of the best kickers in the state of Illinois. Underrated, Nathan Jacobs. I really like Nathan Jacobs. Small, shifty, little running back, multi-purpose running back that you must know about. Um, Ryan Anderson, top linebacker in the state of Illinois. I don't know why people are still sleeping on this kid. He is one of the best linebackers in the state of Illinois. Um, also, they have a young, an up-and-coming quarterback, too. I know it's crazy. Jacob Bell, he's another interesting. He's going to be an up-and-coming quarterback that you need to know about. From uh, Naperville North, they have uh, Harrison. I'm trying to find his name. Offensive line, uh, Chris, uh, Chris, uh, Kristen. Uh, he is another big time offensive lineman in the state of Illinois. He's another big name that you need to know about. But this team is stacked with talent. So, own sleep on Naperville North. They've got a pretty. Let's see. Um, they got a pretty good schedule. Um, Orchard Lake is going to be a tough game. Home of Floss, where the first game is going to be tough. Uh, but I think Naperville North is going to win it. I think, again, I think Naperville North. I foresee their biggest challenge being, again, uh, Nequa Valley. I think Nequa Valley is going to be challenging. And Glenbar North, the Glenbar North is just an absolute pain in the ass sometimes. So it's gonna, that's going to be another tough one. Next one, Nequa Valley. So for Nequa Valley, I had them as another big dog team. Grant Larkin, star player. Jaden McGee, kid that you must know, uh, know about. Cole uh, Dukovic, both, both sides of athlete. Kid uh, is going to be an absolute star in college. He's that type of player that plays for four downs. No matter what, he busts his ass. He's just a great player for that Nico Valley has. Mark McKenney, the one of the better quarterbacks in the state of Illinois. Um, where's the other guy I'm forgetting about? There's another guy I'm forgetting about. Where is he? Versailles Walker, one of the best defensive, one of the best defensive backs in the state of Illinois that you must know about. Um Adam Filburn, another big-time player that you need to keep an eye out for. Young player that you need to keep an eye out for. Ryan Mascari, he's going to be a big name. It's going to come up into the future talks in the state of Illinois. He's going to be a top player. Uh, having a little bit as a tight end, he's going to be one of the best uh, tight ends in the state as we go into the future in a couple of years. Um, yeah, but this team looks unbelievable. Uh, Payton Cole, I, I really like. Uh, Carter Stair, another player that you got to keep an eye out for. You, uh, that Stair family, they're unbelievable. Um, so, let's go to my some my surprise team. And I know a lot of people will say, well, you were wrong last year. I was wrong. I admit that. I was absolutely horribly wrong. I thought they were going to be a surprise team. The Kelp. I have the Kelp as my surprise team again. If I'm wrong, well, I'm wrong and I'm a complete idiot. And I do apologize. Nathan Horde, offensive lineman, another name that you want to keep an eye out for. Don, Dominic Ollinger is going to be a huge riser. 6'4 linebacker, uh, played a little bit of special teams. I think he's going to be a star coming up. Ethan McCarter, one of the best wide receivers in the state of Illinois. Um, I don't know why he's getting more. He's not getting more books. He deserves more books. He's a hell of a player. Um, Taylor Tate, big-time player from the state of, for the state of Illinois that's going to develop even more, for, and is, including next year. Anthony uh, Fibrigano, unbelievable offensive lineman, was completely impressive from at the North Central camp. Do not sleep on Anthony uh, Fibrigano, uh, guard uh, slash uh, offensive lineman for uh, DeKalb. Um, there's another guy I want to talk about. Uh, they got a good defensive line, too. Don't sleep on the defensive line. And Ethan Terry, uh, their kicker, is another big-time kicker for the state of El in the state of Illinois that you must know about. He is a senior. And I had them as my surprise team. I think they can do good. They got to beat those first two teams. They have to beat Plainfield South, and they got to beat Sycamore. No doubt about that. That's that's not a big secret. Wabonzi Valley and Wabonzi Valley. I have as my other surprise team. Um, I'm good. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. I'll eat crow. I will eat crow. I'm going to do this again like I did last year. Wabonzi Valley, the Kelb are my two surprise teams. I really think this team's going to be special. And if I'm wrong. You can call me a you can call me a uh, jackass and I, I'll apologize. Uh, Luke Elsa, quarterback, another interesting name as we get up into that uh, fall date of the season starting. Richie Frawler, another player who also got to keep an eye out for um, threat as well. Uh, let's go down. Michael Popoff, uh, 
Hop off, hold on. I'll, again, I apologize if I mask her last names. Michael's a hell of an offensive lineman. He's another big time recruit that you need to keep an eye for. They also just scored, um, I forgot the kid's first name, but uh, Johnson, because uh, the boundary line's changing. He's going to Abonte Valley from Matea Valley. He is going to be an absolute star for, for Obanzi Valley. His brother just committed to NIU. Obanzi Valley looks good. I don't know why people are sleeping on him. I like AJ Compiece as well. He's another interesting player too. Um, let's go down, 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 down. There's another kid from Obanzi Valley that I'm forgetting, and it's going to kill me. It's going to kill me. All right. But I have them as my surprise team. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. And they got Oswego East and St. Charles East. Those are going to be two big games in O'Fallon. If they can get to at least two and one in the beginning of the three games, that's going to be good. They can get Matea Valley. I think that could be a win as well. Three, three and one. They got the Kelp. I think they got three Kelp to Kelp twice, if I'm not mistaken. If I'm looking at the schedule correctly, that could be a good time. And Mobanzi has a good shot at making the playoffs. No doubt about that. And we, I, like I said, the Kelp and Mobanzi Valley are my surprise teams. Uh, let's go into. Matea Valley, and with Matea Valley, uh, they get the luck of the bad draw always, but I believe in Coach Parpet, I believe in what he's doing with the program, I think he's working his wonders with the program, they fought, they fought last year, they did fight last year, and um, they lose one of their top players in Johnson because the boundary line's being redrawn, um, but Ryan Brown, Oscar Rivera, who's going to be a star athlete from this Matea Valley. Tayo, uh, Tayo um, Lyman for Matea Valley is a name that you also must keep an eye out for. I think he's going to be good. Amari Chairs, he's a little bit of an interesting athlete. Um, Ramon Ortega, I think, could be something. I think a lot of college coaches are waiting to see what he can do this season. Uh, but again, this Matea Valley, again, I love what Coach Parpet does. Um, they get... Always the bad luck. They get the worst luck, I swear. But I think Matea Valley, if they can get start winning, and let's let's look a little bit into the schedule. Um, oh, that's they got Geneva. Geneva's going to be a good team. Lockport, uh, Belleville East, DeKalb, Wabonzi Valley. Yeah, it's going to be it's going to be really tough. But again, again, we've seen some of the scariest things happen, the weirdest things happen, and I should say football, and it could happen. It really could happen. But um, just to go over, Naperville North, um, I think they're going to challenge for a state title. Nick Wavelli is also going to challenge uh, for the conference title. Could they do some damage in the playoffs? Yes. A couple in the last years, eh, Nick Wavelli. But again, they have the quarterback. They have the leadership with the seniors on that team. Cole Dudovic is one of the best players in the state of Illinois, multi multi-purpose athlete. Naperville Central, they could be a challenger. Uh, they have to establish a, a basically a passing game, a passing attack, because I think they're going to be more focused on a ground attack uh, on, for defenses. The Kelb, surprise team. Wabonzi Valley, a surprise team. And if I'm wrong, I will eat crow. Um, Matea Valley, <laughs> luck of the bad draw. But we'll see what happens. Again, weird things have happened, and I think this conference is going to be weird this year. So... Uh, make sure you follow Coach Big Pete and Deep Dish Football on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. My email is CoachBigPeteFP at gmail.com. Um, make sure if you like the work, if you like the work, and you don't like the work, I'm sorry. If you like the work, feel free to leave a tip slash donation via PayPal Vimo link below. It goes a lot to expenditures of Deep Dish Football. Also, follow DuPage Run and Shoot, the DuPage Run and Shoot show for me and my co-host Patrick Cotto that we do. Every week during the fall season, um, we, it's a pretty nice little. It's a pretty nice little show. But check it out. Do Patreon shoot on Facebook and uh, Twitter as well, and follow my co-host Patrick Cotto. And again, my email is Coach Big Pete F, F Coach Big Pete FP at gmail .com. If you have any questions or if you hate me or all other stuff, please let me know. Um, and again, still doing free recruiting advisement sessions. Absolutely free recruiting advisement sessions. Um, if you're interested, email me at coachbigpetefp at gmail.com. Schedule one via Zoom or phone. Thank you guys so much. Hopefully I can be at a DuPage Valley Conference game. I promised Mr. Cotto that I would be, or he would skin me alive. Really, he would skin me alive. But I hope to be at a DuPage Valley Conference game. Thank you guys so much.
and enjoy the day and good luck to everyone during the season and again this is my last season as publisher of Youth This Football and I just want to give you guys all a big shout out and thank you for the support of the Patriot Valley Conference and have a lovely day. Oh,